Hello everyone and welcome to Morning Coffee Break. My brother's already been here this morning and he mowed that bank back there and my uh, gutters were stopped up with that stuff that fell off the trees and floats around. It's like stringy stuff. It was jam packed full of them. Now I got like gutter guards back here on the back one, so they weren't a problem, but the, all the other ones, wherever the downspout was, that stuff had just compacted in there. Uh, I knew it because when it was raining, it was going straight over the gutter, and that's not good. It, it, it also, you know, makes the gutters dirty, and that, they're hard to get clean. That's one thing that needs done, but I don't see how I could afford to do that. Uh, right now, you know, I had the house painted last summer, and then it made that made the gutters look even dirtier. <laughs> so, it's where water goes over them. You know, it just I guess has stuff in it, sediment and stuff like that, and it <coughs> that stuff comes off your shingles a little bit, and it'll get in your gutters too. So, anyway, um, I do appreciate my brother so very much. Today's Friday, May 20th, and currently it's 67 degrees. It's going to be warm today at 91. Uh, no chance of rain today. Humidity is 90% right now. It'll, it'll go down some as the day goes on. Uh, no wind out there, and air quality is good at 48. So it's just going to be a hot day. It's already warm. Uh, and it's probably higher than 67 by now. I just checked, well, I checked that about an hour ago. So it's probably more than that. Now it's probably 70 some. Um, today there'll be an Aldi haul. We went, we were going to have, you know, yesterday I said we would just have some of that red bag chicken, just have a piece of it. We got to talking and we, we really wanted a sandwich with it. So we went and got to Aldi and got some of their, we didn't get, we wanted, I wanted the brioche ones. But they're getting kind of expensive. They were already kind of expensive before everything started going up. And so we just got regular, regular old, uh, you know, hamburger buns. All these regular hamburger buns are nice and fresh. So it, it was good. I mean, um, so I fixed, you know, we had bread chicken sandwiches. We had some potato salad left that was from Aldi, and it's really good. And Joy wanted some hominy. I had the Allen's brand. You know, if you all know about Allen's brand, it's good, really good. And it was a Allen's brand white hominy. And we don't have it very often, but it's just something we have every now and then. It's, uh, it's good. I mean, a lot of y'all may have never had it before. I guess it's a southern thing. Had a piece of tomato on it and some Colby Jack cheese, pickles. It was delicious. <laughs> I don't know. We can't. We might not be able to afford that that red bag chicken very often. We were thinking about getting it at least once a month though, because seven ninety nine. I mean, it used to be six ninety nine, and I thought that was kind of high. And seven ninety nine is too, but it's it is good chicken. I mean, it really is. Um, and then tonight, they want me to make a homemade pizza. We hadn't had one in a little while. And uh, so I'm going to make one of the rectangular shaped ones. That goes right on a baking pan. That'll be good. It always is. We don't have any salad, I don't think, though, but that's okay. Um... Today's thumbnail is, uh, I just thought I would put a picture out there of Evergreen Garden Center. That's our local garden center, and it's just amazing to go there. It's To be there with all those, you know, I love plants and stuff. To be there with all that in one place is just really something for me. I like looking around. I don't look at everything, you know, but you can see everything, but as far as getting up close to everything, I don't look at all the individual stuff but I like looking around and uh, I end up buying buying plants so if I go there 
The day to go is Tuesdays, though, because senior citizens get 15% off, and I'm a senior citizen. Joy's a senior citizen. So just may as well face it and start using some of these discounts they got. Because we would go on Wednesday or Monday or something, and I thought, you know what? May as well save 15%. So, I'll also, uh, I'll probably do a jib jab today. I said I was going to do one yesterday. And uh, as we're getting closer, today's the 20th. The 26th will be our 45th anniversary. The 26th. So, um, I'm putting out a few jib jabs with Joy. And, and, and uh, then on our anniversary, that I'll get an anniversary one and do it. Yep, so let's see here. What is going on with today's tidbits today? I've about give up on my other poor glasses. Look at them. Look at the. <laughs> They're all, they've been bent so many times. I don't know. I'm afraid to bend them anymore. They'll just break. I need to just get me another pair sometime. <laughs> I've got actually another pair, but the lens, uh, the, this part's a little bigger, and I can't find them. <laughs> so. Okay. Today's tidbits. This new forecast model identifies severe weather weeks earlier. My uh, allergies are acting up. Scott mowed this bank back here. And... Uh, it's already, it's got me going. Okay, Northern Illinois University researchers say changing in Madden-Julian osculation increased the probability of severe weather in the U.S. weeks later. Scientists noted, have noted 100 MGO or MJO fluctuations. 53 of those eastward moving weather disturbances could produce tornadoes and hail. Experts say these forecasts will give more time to raise awareness. Woman helps hurricane victims with sewing machines. You know, that's something that I, th that I think, you know, uh, used to, people used to use sewing machines a lot more, I think, than they do now. I remember uh, mom, I mean, she made our clothes, a lot of our clothes. And I didn't ever think anything about it, you know. I mean, it was, it was normal to me. Uh, I mean, we, she'd make, I know she made pants and, like, jackets. And I don't know about shirts. I don't think I remember making me a shirt. But, yeah, I mean, she made stuff. She made dresses, you know, for my sister and stuff. So, a Wisconsin woman is voluntarily helping the survivors of natural disasters rebuild their lives by offering free sewing machines. Margaret Jankowski's The Sewing Machine Project started in 2017, soon after Hurricane Harvey devastated Texas and Louisiana. She has given out over 3,600 new and used sewing machines under the campaign so far. Wow. Lightning strike damages massive tree in Oregon. A rare thunderstorm that caused lightning in the Pacific Northwest Thursday struck a large tree near Canby, Oregon. Photos of the aftermath of the lightning strike show pieces of the tree scattered across the landscape with only part of the trunk left undamaged. People across the region also said they heard the loud boom from a mile away. Wow, like a bomb. Sun lets out three moderate flares Thursday. More to come. NOAA space forecasters have reported that a trio of moderate flares blasted off from the sun on Thursday. Forecasters say there is a 35% chance of M-class solar flares or a 15% chance of X-class flares. They also predict that more solar flares are coming. The solar flares come amid a noticeable increased solar activity in recent months. Yeah, I have been hearing a lot about that. 
Dozens of rescuers helped save dolphins stranded on Cape Cod. Over 40 people battled an incoming tide to rescue seven dolphins that got stranded in the shallow waters of Herring River in Cape Cod, Massachusetts this week. The Atlantic white-sided dolphins got stranded around 7 a.m. Wednesday. The dolphins were taken in a vehicle custom designed to transport dolphins and released into deeper waters off Provincetown. Hubble Space Telescope captures Capture spectacular starburst effect. Oh, good y'all can see it looks amazing. The iconic Hubble Space Telescope has captured a glimmering photo of the globular cluster NGC 6558. This densely packed region of stars is located in the constellation Sagittarius, about 23,000 light years from Earth. The visual starburst effect seen in this globular cluster forms when the telescope's mirrors cause starlight to refract. It's, it's wild looking. Trailer of new asteroid rush documentary is out now. The trailer of the two episode documentary Asteroid Rush, which is set to be released on Curiosity Stream on June 9, is out now. The first episode explores the danger posed by asteroids and the strategy scientists are working on to detect these dangerous asteroids. The second episode will focus on the scientific potential of those asteroids. I don't know if I've heard of Curiosity Stream. I don't think I've ever heard of that before. So I don't know. Uh, upward lightning strike occurs in Kansas amid storms. Look at that. Upward lightning is the opposite of the st standard cloud-to-ground lightning phenomenon. Such a spectacular show was caught on camera in Lawrence County in North <coughs> East Kansas on May 17 as a large swath of storms rolled through the city. In the 13-second video, lightning can be seen starting from the ground and then crawling up towards the sky. That would be crazy to see, wouldn't it? It really would. Okay, now they, they think there's an alien door on Mars. Is that an alien door on Mars? You can look at it and tell it's not, really. NASA's Curiosity rover discovered what looks like an alien doorway in the Mount Sharp region on Mars. The image soon went viral on social media. However, it was later confirmed that the feature has nothing to do with aliens. It is a crevice, a narrow opening in a rock or wall. It is thought to be the result of natural erosion on the rock. You can tell it's like this, there's a shadow there and it's just a crevice back through there. I don't know how that, I don't know how that part got that way, but there's nothing in there. You can see there's a crack or whatever in the rock. It doesn't even go back in there or anything. 60% of Americans to see 90 degree temperatures this weekend. I believe that. According to NWS, nearly 60% of Americans or 200 million people will feel 90 degree heat over the next few days. The warm weather will spread from the plains into the southern and eastern half of the U.S. Parts of the south will even see their first triple digit temperatures of the season. Over 100 high temperature records will be tied or broken. Oh well, it's going to get worse probably before it gets better this summer. Okay everybody, I hope you enjoyed today's tidbits. I hope you enjoyed this morning's coffee break. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that <coughs> so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Alright everybody, later on you'll see a a good Aldi haul. Um, things went up. Some of the things went up. Um, you it's just you just expect it, you know, every time. And then uh, I'll get a jib jab on sometime today. So, everybody, I hope you have a great day, and we'll see you later on. God bless.